Alexander Hamilton consistently told George Washington, you know, get freed slaves into the army and uh, we'll deal with our manpower issues. But, uh, you know, George Washington couldn't do that. He was uh, a Virginia planter and he owned a lot of slaves. And all of his friends, if he made it possible for them to lose uh, their slaves to the army, that, that was a lot of uh, wealth that uh, would be taken from them and uh, it, it would not return. So the people that uh, measured their wealth in, in slaves did not want to see those slaves being freed. And Washington had to deal with, with those two issues, especially in his own life. Hamilton really was the only one of the um, American founding fathers who was a committed abolitionist. The writing of the Declaration of Independence really shows how you can have two mindsets, all right? There's one mindset for people of European ancestry uh, who have money and land. And then there's another mindset for people of color who don't have money or land and who are exploited for their labor. So uh, what, what you're dealing with is a, a situation where people are setting up one system that, that protects their rights and ensures uh, their enshrinement, the, their rule of law and uh, the wealth that they want to accumulate and condemns another group uh, to subservience. That, that's, that's what was set up. I think Alexander Hamilton really made it clear that um, we could only have it one way. I mean, you can't have it both ways. <laughs> and uh, he, he could see that the, the uh, need for the Southerners to have slavery and uh, the need for other parts of the country not to have slavery uh, were gonna lead to a conflict, but there was nothing he could do about it.